Christopher Pearl Hammer, better known as Christopher Pearl Hem, which he took after his ennoblement, was a Swedish scientist, inventor and industrialist. He made significant contributions to the economic and industrial development of Sweden, particularly mining. Biography Paul Hem was born on the island of Gotland in the small village of Tingstad, situated northeast of Visby. Originally the Paul Hem family came from Austria to Pomerania, Germany, from where his father, Wolf Christoph Paul Hammer traded with Visby, where he would eventually settle down to become a skipper. When Paul Hem was eight, his father died and his mother, Christina Eriks' daughter Schenning from Vadstina, Ostigotland remarried. As a result of conflicts with his stepfather, his private tuition was no longer paid for and Paul Hem was sent to live with his uncle in Stockholm. In Stockholm he attended a German school until the age of 12 when his uncle died. Once again Paul Hem was left without the possibility of education. He took a job as a farmhand on Vasta, a property in Soditorn, Stockholm. He quickly rose to the position of supervisor, being responsible for supervision and accounting, for which he was well suited by his affinity for mathematics. He worked at Vasta for 10 years, during which period he constructed a workshop where he made tools, repaired and constructed simple machinery to earn money, hungering for knowledge within his fields of interest, mathematics and mechanics. He soon realized that he would get no further without learning Latin. Self-studies were attempted but given up. Pearl Hem realized he needed a tutor. In exchange for constructing a complex clock, he was given Latin lessons by a local vicar. Word of Pearl Hem's mechanical skill spread quickly and a member of the clergy wrote the professor of mathematics at Uppsala University, Anders Spohl, to recommend Pearl Hem. Spohl, grandfather of Anders Celsius, presented two broken clocks to Pearl Hem and offered to let him study under him if he could repair them. Polhem repaired the clocks with no difficulty and began recovering years of lost education in 1687, at the age of 26. He married Maria Hoffman in 1691, together they had two children, Gabriel and Emma Ensher. In 1716 he was ennobled in gratitude of his services to the nation by the king and changed his name from Polhammer to Polheim, which he later changed to Polhammer. Hem. He and his son Gabriel Paul Hem were both elected members of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences in 1739, the year the Academy was founded. Paul Hem died of natural causes in 1751 in Stockholm. Career Industrial According to Paul Hem's autobiography, the event that marked the beginning of his career was the successful repair of the unfinished in medieval astronomical clock by Petrus Astronomus at Uppsala Cathedral, which had remained unfinished and broken for more than a century. In 1690 Paul Hem was appointed to improve upon the current mining operations of Sweden. His contribution was a construction for lifting and transporting ore from mines, a process that was rather risky and inefficient at the time. The construction consisted of a track system for lifting the ore as opposed to wires. The construction was powered entirely by a water wheel. Human labor needed was limited to loading the containers. Being new and revolutionary, word of Pearl Ham's work reached the reigning king, Charles XI who was so impressed with the work that he assigned him to improve Sweden's main mining operation, the Farland Copper Mine. Funded by the Swedish Mining Authority, Pearl Hem traveled throughout Europe, studying mechanical development. He returned to Sweden in 1697 to establish Laboratorium Mechanicum in Stockholm, a facility for training of engineers, as well as a laboratory for testing and exhibiting his designs. It is considered to be the predecessor of the Royal Institute of Technology. The laboratory was later moved from Stockholm to Falun and from the to Stjansund. In 1748 the collection of models used in the laboratory was returned to Stockholm. His greatest achievement was a 
an automated factory powered entirely by water. Automation was very unusual at the time. Built in 1699 in Stjansund, the factory produced a number of products, deriving from the idea that Sweden should export fewer raw materials and process them within their own borders instead. The factory was a failure, it met great resistance among workers who feared they would be replaced by machinery. Eventually most of the factory was destroyed in a fire in 1734, leaving only the part of the factory that produced clocks left. The factory continued producing clocks, known for the high quality and low price. Although the popularity of the clocks diminished during the beginning of the 19th century, clock making continues to this day at Stjansund, still producing around 20 clocks of the Polhem design per year. Another product from the factory was the Scandinavian padlock, essentially the first design of the variation of padlocks common today. Economically, the factory was unfeasible, but the king at the time, Charles XII, was supportive and gave Polhem freedom from taxes to encourage his efforts. The factory of Stjansund was visited by one of his contemporaries, Carl Linnaeus, who wrote about the factory in his diaries as nothing is more optimistic than Stjansund. Polhem also contributed to the construction of Goethe Canal, a canal connecting the east and west coasts of Sweden. Together with Charles XII of Sweden he planned the construction of parts of the canal, particularly the canal locks in the 18th century. It was not to be finished until 1832, long after his death. Other major contributions made by Polhem were the constructions of dry docks, dams and as mentioned before canal locks, which he designed together with his assistant and friend, Emanuel Swedenborg. Other fields. Polhem was not only active within the field of mechanics, he actively wrote essays concerning medicine, social criticism, astronomy, geology and economics. Other accomplishments. Founder of Stjansund's Manufakturwerk, can be found on the reverse of the 500 Swedish kroner banknote, the front having a portrait of Charles XI of Sweden, has several schools named after him, has an award named after himself, the Polhem Prize, which is awarded to significant contributors to industry and construction engineering, reinvented the Carden joint under the name of Polhem not independently of Gerolamo Cardano, the pioneer inventor has a commemorative coin with his portrait on it, as well as a bus, which can be found in Visby, organized machinery into a mechanical alphabet, and provided examples of such. Of 80 models carved in wood, 32 are still in the collections of the National Museum of Science and Technology in Stockholm. Another 13 models of the mechanical alphabet are to be found in the Falun Mining Museum, Sweden. Dot. Other reading. Johnson, William A. Christopher Polhem, the father of Swedish technology, 